Aries, welcome. This is your October 1st to the 31st of the month read. We're going to jump in for you. I am a channeler, starseed, oracle medium. This is the channel Alchemy, and if it's your first time, welcome. Hey, I'm actually a Venus in Aries myself, and I have my moon in the house of Aries. But yes, um, Mars in the 8th. I have, I have quite the bit of Mars in Aries in my chart overall. Um, yeah, but uh, <laughs> first house. Uh, Pluto, my rising. Okay, so just in case uh, those of you, okay, whoa, 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 we're the Aries. We're the Aries over here. Okay, we want to hear about ourselves. Thank you. <laughs> I know how it goes. Okay. <laughs> my sister, right there, Six of Wands. My sister is an Aries sun sign. I'm very familiar with this archetype. Yeah, my dad actually he has uh, Mars at 29 degrees. But, uh, she's still talking about herself. I already told her I'm an Aries. I need to focus on myself right now. This is my read. Okay, I got you, Aries. I got you. But before we get into it, <laughs> okay, just to give you a disclaimer, okay, I, um, I recommend, okay, to watch this video over time. Come back like six months down the line, okay? Machine should not have that much patience either, okay? <laughs> one, one, one on the clock right there. Oh, let's manifest some patience, okay? Hey, uh, Aries, um, mm -hmm. in the crown, clear. Aries, I don't, sh I'm, I swear, I, I'm, I understand. I didn't have patience to close this dress properly to get into your, I understand, see, I'm, I understood your Aries. Okay, so, anyways, uh, Aries, <laughs> you can watch, obviously, not just your sun sign in my reads. You're welcome, absolutely, to watch any placement. I, in fact, I kind of say it, it's like, um, it's like getting half a haircut when you just watch your sun sign. So, yeah. Go on and, and be bold, bad, and bougie, and get all of your signs tonight. Watch your sun, moon, rise, and Venus, Mars. Um, you're going to get a lot out of these reads if you do. Um, this can be maybe more metaphorical, but then you watch Taurus, and it's like, holy shit, that's my descendant sign. And then, you know, different different aspects will lend different, um, different tea, different tea flavors. Okay, so, and you'll make it your own. But also, I wanted to give a quick um, heads up that, well, yeah, this is a channeled message t download, and it's from the Pleading Light Body Council. If you're here, we're working here on behalf of the Galactic, Galactic Federation, okay, and... Um, yeah, okay, so Mars is, like, ready. Mars is like, listen, I don't want the details to just go zip around the corner real fast. Okay, so, um, yeah, well, let me say this, okay? It's funny because I was meditating before I got into your video, and I was hearing, there is someone so fucking distracting to you, um, kind of like how I'm, I feel like I'm being, like, distracting. I feel like I'm distracting. It's like, okay, get on with the message. It's like, so you're maybe in a rush, and someone else is very slow. Okay. Classic Aries in a rush. Yeah. Gotta go, the fool. Mm -hmm. With the justice. Some of you, you know, you're very, you know where you're going. And maybe someone here is kind of, um, they don't, guys, or they're just on a different wavelength than you, and you're feeling maybe a little frustrated with that. But the Six of Cups here, the fool and justice, I feel like you're also in a really good vibe. And, you know, there's someone here maybe with some fear energy, and they're kind of um, being a Debbie Downer even, okay, and you're just not in the mood for that is what I'm hearing, okay, so I feel like also you have some really exciting projects around the bend, I, I was seeing some of you moving, and uh, that could be down the line, so come back to this video over a year's time, you'll um, see this manifest um, in more lucid ways perhaps. Now the Emperor, some of you also looking for your, uh, your, your, the X to your Y, okay, and there's the lovers right there. You're looking for someone who is going to be a true born and bred counterpart to you. You don't want um, to fake it. I'm hearing that. I'm not sure. Maybe that is sexual. I'm hearing some about Smurfs. Smurf. Uh, you don't want to have to fake it with 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 you, you know your person. Maybe in the um, last relationship you were with, like that was a big issue for you. They weren't a actually able to please you, and so um, yeah, that's uh, see the King of Wands right there. You know, you're realizing that you're ready for a relationship and that you um, are ready to be yeah i'm here in again bold bad and bougie about your expectations that relationship and with the ace of cups um i do see you having more uh a sense of clarity over that area of your life okay matters of the heart and i feel like you want to honestly i'll be honest push anyone else on the perimeter of that out of the way it could also be that you're feeling really sexual this month you've got a really strong libido going it can be i'm seeing a monument a megalithic structure here we said scrub 
yeah so something here um wasn't working in the past and i feel like you're just you know boom boom bada boom i want to get out of that and i'm ready to move into this other energy so the high priestess and the six of swords <laughs> um yeah you and the nine of swords the four of cups like you're not about to tolerate no one's boredom if someone else is bored and they're just wanting to keep company you're not going to be available is what i'm hearing with the emperor okay and the seven of cups i feel like you have like no time even in this reading it's crazy i, I mean i never feel that way but yeah i'm feeling that right here it's almost like we the guides barely have a minute with you like so um you know d definitely try to keep yourself in a grounded energy try to uh keep yourself humble as well the ace of pentacles here upright okay you're really excited about something and man do i know it yeah when aries are excited about something you know it's just like god everyone get out of my way <laughs> so because i got here in reverse you're possibly um wanting to secure something you feel and it's like okay well don't worry i heard like that that's your guides they don't want you to um Return to center, clear on the crown. I'm, by the way, doing Reiki while, I, yeah, I'm reading on your energy, so just a side note. Some of you here, you really want, like, even, like, a law passed. Like, you're in a rush for whatever that is. Like, yeah, keep getting that six of swords. So, you you want to quickly move on from this situation here. Um, it could be literally a living situation. It could be something that's making you feel heavy and, like, slow. Yeah, with the world in reverse, like, it couldn't go any more slowly. Like, <laughs> okay. Now, some of you, someone could be getting a little bit frustrated, I'm not going to lie, like, around you. I, it could also be, um, yeah, like, it's one of those moments where you could be both, like, overtired or you are, um, you're in a rush, okay? And I see, um, you, pro you could be projecting a lot with someone here, like, it's, you know, this person, um, kind of picking up on your energy and then they're projecting that back to you and then you're like, oh, well, do you realize how you were acting? You know, something a little bit like that. So just kind of keep yourself in balance. Um, this can also, again, be over time, six to eight months. I see some of you here. You also, yeah, we have that emperor. Some of you really want to show up. Now you are wanting to, uh, you want to show up. Some of you here, you are very ready for also, I'll say at a sort of physical experience, you're like, I'm ready for this i don't want to be slowed down i could be in that so maybe you want to just get really ready physically for a certain experience and maybe there's someone around you who is messing a little bit with your tempo okay like you're about to get ready for this ready ready ready, ready. yeah like you you are like you know preparing to get involved in something here even with someone and you're getting yeah your head your head of the game with the eight of wands <laughs> and you're gonna meet maybe for instance like something someone for the first time like i feel like people around you oh my god like they're gonna get a side to you if you if they're in your way okay they're gonna get a side to you empress you also have a lot that you need to get done i feel so it's like a lot of factors now <sighs> someone around you is very un i'm sorry like they're debbie downering mm -hmm. and this is someone uh it's just not a good time you know it's like what is going on right now this is not where i want to be at right now i feel like you're you're sassy listen uh this month we have anandalite and lemon bomb integrating energies awakening transitioning some of you you know you're maybe going into this controlling energy as well feeling like you need to control the outcome maybe unbeknownst to you like you're not even realizing it that you're sort of like um becoming controlling <laughs> okay it says Amber that maybe someone has to point that out to you and this it's an Aries thing. That's absolutely, that could be an Aries thing. It's like, okay, like, especially sun sign. Do you realize um, that you're being very controlling right now? Yeah, that's like an Aries, or trying to be. Uh, that's an Aries sun, usually with a Mars and Aries. Woo! Mm. So, yeah, somebody maybe has to point that out to you. Like, okay. Um, yeah, some of you also be, be make sure that you are still keeping in touch with your elders and being kind, courteous to your elders. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. Some of you here, you know, uh, helping the people across the street kind of vibes. I don't know. That's very particular. Like some of you, um, you know, don't get ahead of yourself, right? Remember that karma still exists. Um, and uh, now I see why we had to preface with, I know a lot of Aries. It's like, are you like God? Yeah, trying to, the, I know a lot of Aries. It's not personal. Okay. Amethyst and passion flower. Violet flame. Um, yes. E e mm -hmm. uh, I, yeah, this is not like, uh, I'm familiar with this energy. Okay. Because people love to make these little stories. Oh, Natalie only did five minutes for Pisces or did it she doesn't like pain so oh did you see the video yesterday it was three hours long for voices you know this so anyways i just gotta i guess clear that right now for someone in the air in the air clear the air on that hey alex hey it's okay eat your treaty uh huh there's yeah he he was he for a second it looked like he was scaling the side of the wall <laughs> yeah i feel hey alex come here doll come 
I feel like someone isn't like annoying you or you're just like almost like putting them in a position to like kind of be annoying. Okay, does that make sense? Like I want you to be sensitive and gentle this this month, Aries, as best as you can. Uh, yeah, I don't know. You know, uh, it, it's going to be hard, I feel, to do that because some of you here, you know, I'm just going to tell you now, you know, be be very careful that you're not growing an attitude on you, okay? Some of you here are Aries, like someone here around you is feeling a little bit uncomfortable around you. Um, mm -hmm, they could be feeling that, you, hi, Angel, you you kind of getting a bit of a, a mind of your own and a bit, uh, you know, uh, possibly rude. That's what I'm hearing. So those of you, you know, maybe you don't realize it's like, well, I'm just trying to get over here. And it's like, I see some of you possibly or someone is pushing somebody out of the way nearly. Now, this can also be someone that is around you and you're just like embarrassed by the behavior a little bit. It's like, oh, I'm sorry. Like you're like apologizing on their behalf a little bit. It's kind of what it feels like. Um, This is Alex, by the way. He's a Scorpio. Yeah, what's up? It's my season. Hello. <laughs> mm-hmm, boobies. So tell us. Alex loves to channel. He adore absolutely adores to channel. So so tell us. Well, Aries, don't forget to open the door and close the door after the elders. I, something with that energy. Um, maybe you know you just ran ahead and like slammed the door, and there was like an elderly behind you or something like that. You know, you want to just kind of keep your wits about you. You know, karma is always on. Nothing is worth building karma. You know, in this world, if you have to be rude to someone, you know, sip on another person to get ahead, that's going to not be something that you just kind of forget about. And uh, ignorance is, no, no, you're going to come right back to that very cross street and you're going to meet the same person and you're going to go through the same thing. Uh, for some of you, I'm not sure, you know, right now you need to be reminded a bit of possibly that. Um, and uh, to be mindful and um, sensitive to, I hear it again, your elders. Maybe it's also your ancestors. So they may want you, I don't mention this ever in a read, but something about, um, you know, some kind of ritual, okay? Like keep a touch with, yeah, some of, hmm, what's going on? <laughs> Let's get a little bit more on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see some of you being a little hot, hot headed and a little bit moody even, okay? So Someone maybe feels you're being a little bit avoidant or like um, childish and like I'm hearing programmed. They feel like you're sort of um, possibly even like spiraling into the matrix. This could obviously be, I mean, heck, we could have two Aries watching and one of you is um, in the in the shadow here. Uh, yeah, driver. Some of you are like driving hastily. Uh, something about the farm. Uh, criminal driver. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, the way that sounds is... Uh, not good. Uh, we have criminal, uh, the criminal card, criminal, and we have driver card, separate. So, where's Claire? This can also be how someone, um, how you feel about somebody, okay, that, you know, you're not liking the way that they're maybe literally driving or the way that they're handling. Yeah, something doesn't feel right, okay? I'm hearing, yeah, you need to calm down. Uh, we have musician, yeah. So, some of you also, you know, you, we literally have the farmer card. Oh my god. Did we say farm? We said farm. Farmer in reverse. So yeah, some of you here, like, someone feels you're not humble no more. Okay? Uh, Aries, listen, you know, that's not for everybody, but for some, it's like, Aries, like, you know, what's going on? I heard like that. You're kind of turning into a different type of person. I don't recognize you. I'm hearing that. We have lawyer. And sometimes, you know, you don't recognize it can be. I'm looking at the cards here. It's like all red on the, on the sides. I don't know if you can quite see that. Um, some of you, it's your Mars energy. Please be in check. Yeah, I mean, what is going on? Like, yeah, some of you here, you're trying to, maybe you're listen. Maybe you're literally on the run. Maybe you're literally on the freaking run. Yo, who am I reading for? <laughs> don't tell them. I mean, what the? You need to, yeah. Remember that karma catches up. Karma, if you got two wheels, karma has four. Okay. There's always someone here watching your every move. So don't think that, you know, it's a matter of speed, time, g the galactic uh, forces as well um, uh, in space and time. I mean, w hold up. So wait, 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 what are you doing? Yeah, so some of you do need to, um, you need to just uh, ground your energy and make sure you're not coming from a place that is truly programmed. You know, maybe someone has programmed some kind of energy into you of like, got to get there, like, 
got to do this. And it could be a metaphor, like, got to manifest this by this day. You know, um, the galactic forces, they don't operate on time and space. So, yeah, I keep seeing this grandmother, elders energy in the moon. You need to get back into your feminine, possibly, okay? Back in, mm -hmm, back into your feminine. This could be years of energy. You know, maybe you're like, now I realize I've been in my masculine. Now I want to get into my feminine. I want to get a little softer on the edges. And um, so this is the energy, you know, some of you are going to get ready for that. So let's get here a card for each of the days and see what's what. For my sweet dear Aries. As sweet as they come. Somebody is hoping that, like, yeah, I'm here where your behavior will change and your attitude will shape up. This is literally what I'm getting. So this could be maybe you with someone else who's just becoming kind of, um, let's see. You're wondering, like, maybe why they're behaving like that? Yeah. They're being influenced for someone. That's not for all, but it could be that they're they're under the... Imp yeah, like, someone's operating through them. You know when you meet someone and you're hanging out and then it's like you could feel, like, another person's energy on them or, like, right after they hang out with another person, it's like they're a totally changed person? Yeah. You can see they have this anxiety all of a sudden. Yeah, this is this energy a little bit, okay? So there's another person here who's sort of making this person even frenetic or nervous. And you feel like you're this person not normal, so... Now, I was also getting, as I was meditating before I turned the camera, that some of you here, mm -hmm, your, yeah, your guides were kind of, kind of giving um, this, mm -hmm. you're feeling like you need a, to come down to a decision with someone. Like, I see you giving somebody one opportunity to prove themselves, the five of wands. Like, are you a good influence on me? Someone's being like a so-called, like, reckless driver. God, I'm hearing that, God forbid, you know, again. But, um yeah some of you it's a work thing your boss may ask to meet with you you know if you're getting sloppy around certain edges here and uh they need to they, uh, we need to have a talk i'm hearing that okay some of you driving too 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 frenetically and too quickly and too fast um okay so so just clearing the sacral and driving is mars right so some of you you need to be careful here when you're driving okay during the season with scorpio season right there's the death card scorpio there's something here that you need to really be ready for okay uh some of you as well i'm gonna be i mean i'm not just reading for you, okay so i understand we have reptilians watching as well but i'm reading for light workers uh huh okay but uh, you possibly, okay, are going to get karma here. Someone here is going to receive karma for what they did in the past. Someone was being sloppy, I hear that, okay, around the edges with how they were treating people, with how they were, you know, they weren't looking out for people. The safety of other people is what I'm hearing. They were driving around corners real fast. I mean, uh, maybe they didn't, God forbid, hit anybody. But they were um, not really considerate. They weren't caring about others with compassion. And so now I see that spirit's going to bring this karma forward. Okay? For some of you, you're dealing with someone as well who was wishing ill towards you. They're going to get their karma this month. Okay? Pluto doesn't mess around. Pluto will make sure it makes a plan for that. Okay? Yeah, and you see that wink on the moon card that's mm -hmm, on Pluto's ruler of the major arcana. You are going to see that somebody was always watching. Some of you, you're going to get a pullover. Mm -hmm. Nothing is, is it does not not make no sense driving like a maniac. Okay, if you're working for a company that's not paying you enough that you have to drive so fast if you're Uber driver, whatever, uh, Lyft driver, Uber driver, y this is not a good company to be working for. You need to slow down and pace yourself. Some of you, you know, your Uber drivers driving like a maniac. Get out of that car. Tell him, oh, sorry, you know, I forgot something. Actually, I feel that out. When I used to take Ubers, I don't take them really anymore because you never know. Some drivers just driving like a maniac. Okay, so so what you need to do, the minute you, first of all, look at their picture. Feel it out. Don't, don't, I say don't ride with nobody under 4.9 rating. That's myself, how I, I don't, I don't trust really it to begin with. So, like, meaning trust in the sense of I don't really, I don't like the thought of Uber. I think that it's just, anyways, uh, but you always take it as you will. And then uh, when you get another car, you need to feel the vibe out. Does this person feel like weird? You know, you need to refill that energy and don't get, you get right. I've gone out of their car within 30 seconds. Oh, I forgot something, you know, got out of the car, cancel the ride. Okay. Don't, um, do and Some of you, it's, a yeah. 
it's like what three dollars you know of a charge you, your safety is the most important your peace of mind some of you you are with someone here mm -hmm. You're not liking this person's energy. I've, maybe you're dating someone. The way they're driving is crazy. Why are you driving like that? Calm down. I'm hearing like that. Someone here is not, not comfortable. That's what I'm hearing. They're not comfortable with themselves. I hear that. Okay. So some of you here, I don't know, maybe it's more existentially or it's a metaphor, but someone here needs to really um, uh, uh, be, be, be ready to, to take what they serve as well. Someone was wish. someone here was... Sending you some fu- Okay, hold on a second. I see someone here multitasking. I don't see you tolerating this, okay? You're gonna have to- Yeah, maybe it's someone who works for your business. You need to talk to this person and have that conversation with them, okay? We're gonna see you in the next video.